You didn't stumble upon this video by mere chance. You're here because average isn't a word in your dictionary. You see potential where others see dead ends. This video is for those who command their reality, who see their limitless potential and sculpt it piece by piece. So by the end of this video, you'll be even closer to the version of you that refuses to be anything other than extraordinary with the exact steps to use to stop your brain from bullying you into being average. So just take a second and take a big deep breath in. Breathe in that confidence and exhale the doubt. Breathe in the certainty and exhale the fear. And just align your mind with what it is that we're talking about in this video. And clear all the thoughts that you were thinking before you clicked on this video. Let it all go. So the major difference that I am seeing with clients that are getting results versus the ones that aren't, there's an inner glow. And you cannot fake that inner glow. You cannot buy it. You cannot fake the funk. You cannot fake that inner glow that you cultivate from showing up for yourself day in and day out. And this was so clear to me the other day because I have various packages and there's one where you kind of just do it yourself. I'll create the package and then you go away and do the work. And then there's one where we have a call at the beginning and a call at the end. And then obviously there's the most popular one, which is where we have five calls in total. And I was working with someone that had done the call in the, the beginning and a call at the end the other day. And I didn't even have to ask them if they'd been doing the work. Their energy spoke before they did. And when I said, you know, have you done what what's in the package have you done any of the work it was an obvious no and I didn't even need that answer from them because when you show up for yourself like your life depends on it when you show up for yourself like you refuse to be average day in and day out when you fight for your right to love yourself, to be happy, to glow, to feel fulfilled, you cannot fake that. You're just gone. And I don't know how to, I don't know how to give it to you. I mean, I'm doing everything I possibly can to give it to you with these videos, with the packages, with the meditations, but I don't know how else to tell you that this stuff works if you do the work. So for example, Let's say you sat down today for your first piano lesson. Will you be a master by the end of the day? How long will it take you to have mastered the art of being a piano player? Well, how long is a piece of string? How dedicated are you? How much do you show up for yourself day in and day out? What are you saying to yourself? How often are you doing it? Again, we learn anything, we achieve anything through repetition, through constantly showing up for ourselves day in and day out. And this, at the beginning, I'm not gonna lie, it's hard, it really is a struggle. So something that's really gonna help you with kind of moving past the barriers that we've placed on our bodies and on ourselves is kind of doing an incantation. I, I heard Tony Robbins speaking about this the other day, and he was saying like he would use his whole body, his whole power while he was affirming in his car for 45 minutes and everyone around him would thought he was a lunatic. And so I began doing that in the mirror while I'm rampaging, my, my own rampage that I've created myself and a rampage you can create yourself. You can you know put a bunch of affirmations together and create your own rampage. But as you're saying them in the mirror, incorporate body movement, incorporate deep belly breaths. Like I am certain I get what I want. Like you are, you know, using your fists, using your hands, using your arms, like using your whole body, pointing at the mirror. Like I get what I want. Using your entire energy to shift your state so that you're not just saying it, you're also feeling it. And the amazing thing about loop affirmations is that you don't have to feel a thing. But when you take 60 
60 seconds, two minutes, three minutes out of your day to stand in front of a mirror, loop your affirmation, say a rampage and incorporate physical movement while you're breathing deeply. Do you understand how powerful that is? How quickly your state is going to change? I refuse this disease or I refuse this poverty. I am rich. I am rich. You are stinking rich. Like as you're pointing at yourself in the mirror, use your body to help you manifest, to help you shift out of those low vibrational states of things don't work out for me. Like nothing's ever working for me. Yeah. If you continue speaking like that, guess what, baby girl or guy, that's what's going to be happening for you. So when you start to move your mind, move your body, get attitude with it, you know, I have one client who's like, I'm twerking in the mirror. <laughs> I'm doing my mirror affirmations. I'm twerking in the mirror. I'm like, okay, love that. But like, let's also cultivate some deep intimacy. You know, this is about self-love. But like, move your, your body because we're so stuck in our ways. We're so stuck in like what was and what has been. And actually, when I was reading The 40 Rules of Love, which is a book I had on my previous video, obsessed with that book I've almost finished it literally in a few days one of the stories was about essentially two Muslim men and one of them helped a woman cross the river and the other Muslim man was like why did you touch that woman like how could you have done that it's such a sin and the man that helped the woman was like I picked that woman up and I left her at the river you are still carrying that woman with you all this way let her go and it's the exact same with when we are shifting states and trying to sustain states. We keep the old with us. But this happened to me, so it's going to happen again. Or, you know, I was poor in my childhood, so I have to be poor now. Or, you know, things have never worked out for me. So let me just show you <laughs> all of these failures and, and make sure you really know them. You know, the more that you focus on that, the more that it grows. Comment down below, everything gets to be easy for me because the more negative that you think, the more negative your brain will seek evidence for you to prove that. And the same is true for the opposite. And so when you've tried for two days and nothing has shifted in your reality, you say, see, I've tried. No, you haven't, you're lying. When you've said, I, I'm going to the gym and you went to the gym for one hour, in 30 days, that's not you trying. That's you lying to yourself. It's the exact same with this inner work. And so even if you have done like 30 days of doing this work and the gremlin creeps back up, don't be so hard on yourself. None of that work has gone to waste. Like you are still working in shifting 20 odd years of negative programming. So you still have to show up for yourself every day. Maybe not as intense as we did in the package, but you still have to be showing up for yourself in some way or another. Flipping your thoughts, catching your thoughts, doing those incantations in the mirror, like feeling your body into a new new state so that you can sustain this beautiful lovely feeling that we've all felt when we've done the work we're not immune to you know the natural disposition that our brain has to the negative it naturally wants to seek the negative because it wants to keep us protected right it constantly thinks we're being chased by a tiger or something so it wants to keep us small and protected so you have to constantly remind it you're safe, you're secure, you're loved, you're adored, like you get everything that you want. Relax, everything gets to be easy for you. The more that you're relaxing by doing the breath work, by doing the rampage, by showing up for yourself and doing the mirror work every day, the quicker you are going to see a shift. And when you're saying, oh, well, nothing's changing, guess what? That's your most dominant thought. That's your most dominant assumption. Our assumptions become our reality. I want you to really commit to this and it's very similar how I am going to be doing 40 days of no sugar which will be the hardest thing I think I've ever done. Sorry I'll change my thinking. It's the easiest thing I've ever done. <laughs> I've really never been able to overcome. Like my whole life I was able to quit drugs, I was able to quit alcohol, I was able to quit everything, like all the bad habits that I have that I picked up along the way, I was able to get rid of, except from sugar. And it's, you know, something that I'm looking to shift. And I'm gonna be doing 40 days of no sugar, documenting it on TikTok. And I'm going to literally show you day by day how to start shifting your identity. Like I need to shift my identity, like I don't eat sugar 
right? I need to shift that. But right now, my identity is, oh my God, it's so hard for me to shift from eating sugar, like sugar is my life, like all of this stuff, right? So I now need to shift my identity to, I don't eat sugar anymore. And so if anybody's got any tips on that, please drop them down below. I need all the encouragement I can get. Thank you. It's a big one. Like this is a big one. This is a big, this is probably the, the not the hardest because everything is super easy. This is probably the biggest thing that I struggle with. So I'm going to be shifting that and you can follow the exact process for 40 days on my TikTok and we can really start shifting identities because that's essentially what we're doing here. We are shifting to, I'm thriving in every possible way. I'm in love with my life. I'm happy every day. Like I get to have it all. I always get what I want. This is identity shifting. That's what we're doing. So wish me luck <laughs> so i trust this video helped you manifest leave an orange love heart down below if you got this far and let me know what you are shifting what so leave an orange love heart if you got this far and let me know down below where your identity is going in 2024 so leave an orange love heart down below and let me know what so if you've got this far, leave an orange love heart down below and let me know what it is that you're shifting. Which identity are we creating over the next 40 days? I can't wait to hear more. I trust this video helped you manifest. You are worthy, you are loved. I love you and thank you.